All right, so this is my Kerbalized version of the M2 from Blue Origin. As you can see, we have the uh, the um, air brakes here, which uh, function uh, should be this group, yes. So we have functioning air brakes here. Um, we also have the fins here, the air fins. And of course, these will all be used in the actual launch. Um, I think this took me a couple of days to put together. Uh, most of the difficulty was actually making this look correct. Uh, making something function in this game is not hard at all. Making it look the part is the hard part. This, this of course, has the um, the capsule on the top uh, without the windows. So this is a uh, demo capsule. This is not. Uh, ready for people. Um, although I did go ahead and uh, sneak a couple Kerbals in there just for fun. Because um, we love to see their faces, of course. So let's go ahead and launch this thing. So when this thing feels like loading, I think it's a hundred and something parts, which is why it takes a little bit to load in. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to throttle up to full. We can see we got our uh, female Kerbal here and our two guys. Uh, they look like they're ready to go. All right, so three, two, one, ignition and lift off. The M2 Kerbal. Whee! As you can see, it's a uh, it's a it's a little bit slower, you know, uh, off the line than the real one, uh, because the uh, the way Kerbal models things, um, it's carrying quite a bit more fuel. Um, this engine is also not nearly as efficient, uh, which I deliberately did just because it has a blue flame and well it looks cool so I left it that way so we can get up here now let's see we can uh, deploy the air brakes when necessary and we can deploy the fins when necessary of course we don't actually need any of those at the moment so we are going to get up to uh, 33,000 feet, and Kerbal is, I believe, one-third scale of, we actually gotten pretty high already, of Earth. So as you can see, it's not all that large. So the atmosphere, woo, we went inside, um, is relatively thin uh, in comparison. So as soon as we get up to 33,000 feet here, We'll be able to cut the engines, and we'll be able to drift the rest of the way to outer space. And that is where we will go ahead and uh, decouple our capsule here. So we're getting up here and getting up in speed. 10,000. we got a little ways to go. Let's see if we can get some of these shots like this. Yeah. That's what it would look like to ride on this thing. Whoa. go almost lost sight of it there all right let's zoom back in all right we're getting closer here uh, I put uh, a fairing up here to cover up the parachutes because I'm actually not entirely sure how um, how this works on the the real capsule okay here we go Ready to stop engines here in three, two, one, cut. All right, there we go. So now we've gotten way up here, and we'll be able to coast the rest of the way to our designated goal of around 30 or 64,000 meters, I think. We'll have to see where we top out at. It seems different almost every time.
Let's see now. You can go ahead and get rid of that. Oh man, these guys don't look too happy down here. I wonder why they're not to, uh, so uh, enthused. <laughs> Seems like a fairly nice ride, didn't it? Alright, so now these here are RCS ports. Um, I also have uh, little engines here, as you can see, for when the capsule goes to land. So here we come, we're almost up, and we'll go ahead and decouple. There we go. Then we'll switch to RCS mode, and we will push ourselves just off to the side, just like that. And then we'll be able to switch back here, and we can watch it float away. Right. So we're still we're still actually gaining altitude to maximum. Of, oh, 68. Wow. We really got up there this time. So that's going to drift a little bit farther that way to make sure it doesn't come down on us. And there we go. And now we begin the descent. So upon descent, uh, I'm not entirely clear on when we deploy these fins. I imagine it's much farther down into the atmosphere, but just because things get moving kind of quick at a certain point, I'm going to go ahead and um, deploy these fins now. The air brakes will be no use until much farther down. Uh, let's switch back to the capsule for a minute. Let's go ahead and get rid of this top here because we don't need it. So as you can see, that exposes the parachutes here. We do have three of them, just like on the regular capsule. All right, now we should be able to ride this the rest of the way down. Now, if we look, we're a little bit, we're a little bit north here of where we, where our target landing zone is about here. But I, I find that it, it varies between launches, just where you go. Um, there goes the uh, capsule drifting off, still that way. It's increasing its distance from us, which is good. We do have a decent amount of fuel left. So we're rocking in at uh, almost 700 meters a second at this point. We'll hit a maximum of 800 plus, I believe. All right, we're starting to get down. So remember, we cut our engines around right here. So now we're about to drift back into the atmosphere. Any second now around here, we should start getting some atmospheric effects. Make sure that's still pulling away from us, and it is, which is good. All right, there's the atmospheric effects. We're smoking. Look at it go. All right, you see the atmosphere is slowing us down quite a bit. Go ahead and deploy air brakes. Ooh. Okay, retract air brakes. Then I'm going to go ahead and switch back to capsule. I'm going to go ahead and deploy the parachutes. And then with this, I'm going to go ahead and hit G for gears. I'm going to have throttle up. Slow myself down. Now I can't do a uh, crazy suicide burn at the very last moment because this engine just doesn't throttle up nearly as quickly. As we need it to. And if I was perfect, I'd be able to do much better than this, but... And we're gonna go right down for a nice, soft landing. There we go. Now let's switch back to the capsule. And there's the M2 first stage. Now we got to make sure to fire these, fire these rockets right at the last moment to cushion the fall. If I don't, this will actually suffer some damage, which you will see. There goes the parachutes being deployed. Like they still look unhappy. It's like they don't trust me or something. I don't understand. There it is. 
and two in all its glory. Now, of course, in real life, this this and this landed quite quite a bit farther away. <laughs> but uh, you know, if I was good enough, I could get this thing to land right back on top, and then we could just go for another one. Wouldn't even have to. We just sit there and refuel. But that's from the you know the launch distance there. All right, here we're coming down to it. Ready. And fire. Boom. Perfect. And there we have the Kerbal version of the M2 rocket from Blue Origin.